y'all, it's Hope from Crafty Hope here and welcome. I am working on day 52 of ICAD. ICAD is index card a day. It comes from Tammy Garcia of Daisy Yellow, who's Gypsy999 on Instagram. I've got Tammy's links and information about her below. She started this about 12 years ago and basically the idea is to take an index card each day for the 61 days of June and July put some art on it. Now she does offer up weekly themes and daily prompts to kind of help you if you need it or to give you a little extra challenge. And so today her her prompt is, I don't tend to use the themes, but today her prompt was together. And I thought I had an idea for that and that's what I'm rolling with. And then my friend Nina Fickett a couple years ago started her making her own list of additional prompts, which she has called Mixed Media ICAD. And her prompt for today is color gradation. I don't really do that, but in the end, looking at my card, I kind of did. And But it's absolutely unintentional. Um, I didn't really, I don't really wasn't thinking about it, wasn't something I wanted to try. I wasn't sure exactly what it was, but I've since looked it up and like, oh, I kind of did that. So anyway, I am, as a personal challenge for myself, trying to work through a couple boxes of like scraps. These are bits of paper and things that are just floating around the craft room and on my desk and all of that that needed a place to go. And they wound up in these two plastic bins started as one plastic bin is now two but I am trying to use them in the collage it kind of helps bulk up these flimsy thin index cards as well it um what does it do it gets me over that blank page feeling so that I have kind of a starting point it gives me some texture and you know I, I enjoy the almost the meditativeness of sitting down with just my Uhu glue stick and sticking things down for a minute, getting my hands busy. It's like a warm up for me almost to, to start with the, the collage. So I am getting that down. As you see with my Ooh glue stick, now, like I said, the together prompt, I had a general idea for this, and I knew I wanted the card to be pretty bulked up. So I'm adding all kinds of collage. I do add some thinner pieces, but I really am trying to add some thicker things. And I'm trying to keep in a fairly neutral-ish palette because I had pulled out a couple things. I, um, yeah, you can kind of see them in that upper left corner there. I have some embroidery flosses. I went thrift store shopping, well, thrift and craft store shopping yesterday and got some new things that I'm going to use. Um, I say new, the thrift store stuff is not new per se, but I got some embroidery floss. That I thought um, a couple colors I really liked. And so looking at those colors, I went and looked for some reason at my acrylic inks and found a yellow ochre that I really like. And I thought, okay, these are the, some of the things I'm going to use on today's cards. So as you see, I'm still finally finishing up collaging. I'm going to trim down a little bit of the excess and then I I'm going to pick up my desk just a second. I'm going to grab my Liquitex Basics Gesso. Oh, well, no, I'm not done. There's a piece that was sitting on my desk. I thought, huh, I'll throw it on. So <laughs> I'm going to get my Liquitex Basic Gesso and just put a quick dab of that on my card. I, as usual, I don't really want to cover up everything. I just want to make it a little more cohesive. So I'm using this silicone uh, tool it's an artist tool that's like a silicone brush type thing to kind of scrape that gesso around on the card to help pick up some of the texture and yeah just kind of distribute that gesso without really painting it on so and this is kind of fun you know it's like I don't know like kindergarten play or something. <laughs> so I've got that and I started to go ahead and dry this but I thought nah I'm gonna go ahead and use my that's an Amsterdam acrylic ink, like I said, in um, yellow ochre. So I splattered that just a little bit. Sometimes I do big bulbous drops. And for here, I knew I wanted to keep fairly small little drips. So I did that and then used my distress sprayer to wet it so that it could move around a little bit. And y'all, you know, I was loving that. I, the yumminess of that is just, whoo, love it. So I'm going to go ahead and dry it. And that's kind of, when you see it's dry, that's kind of a color gradation from what I can see. Um, like I said, it's completely unintentional, but kind of love it. 
And then I wanted some splatters, but I because that of that yellow color, I didn't want to use my coffee. So I've got that's a um oh what's it called? It's De La Rowney FW acrylic ink in Payne's Gray. So I did just some small splatters with my fan brush, and I'm gonna try this again real quick. And I was trying to blot it and press it down and realize there were still some wet splatters on my desk. So I picked a couple of those up while I was, um, yeah, while I was trying to force myself to do the next thing. You see, I'm, I'm hesitating. And that is to tear this card in half. Because for the together prompt, what I wanted to do was put it back together. So that was my idea. So I thought I would just stitch it, but I realized that would still be far too floppy. So I'm going to grab some fabric. This is, I think, an old tablecloth or something that's in my stash. And I just tore it down to a nice little strip. And I'm going to use my hoo glue stick to glue it onto the card. I could have done it from behind so that it showed. But for some reason, I was like, no. Because I do like the tears. But I just didn't think that would be stable enough for some reason. So I'm going to glue that down from the front and then flip it over and decide to the little flap that's hanging go ahead and glue that down as well just to give it a little extra stability because it's still going to be because that's just fabric it's still going to bend right there and now I'm going to also add some stitching so you can see I've got several like I said rolls of embroidery I don't know what do you call those cards of embroidery floss sitting there and I picked up this one which is a, a denim ish blue I guess it's a dark blue and I went ahead and got it off that spool and onto my needle and tied a knot and I'm gonna go ahead and just stitch y'all I am going top to bottom I start to try to save the the floss by going in next to it but I thought it might add a little extra stability if I did the the crossing in the back and here in just a second was it that one it may have been that one um yeah I poked my finger I I was bleeding so yeah this is um you know a bloody mess no I didn't get any blood on it but yeah um there's some 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 blood in my art today <laughs> So I'm just somewhere right in here. Yeah, I decided it would be easier to just do the up and down stitching. So instead of trying to save space and um, it, like, it would give more stability, I could probably use something else. If y'all got some ideas how I could have stiffened that up a little bit more. I thought about putting some cardboard or something like that maybe on the back. And I might still just for my own like sense of security but it's now glued with fabric and stitched it's not gonna come apart it is it is together <laughs> and I kept stopping I wasn't sure if I was gonna stitch straight across the card or not so I'm thinking and as I look at it I realize I need something else in the background um, so I think I'm going to grab a pencil here, just a, mechan a thin mechan. I started to grab my chunky one and I thought, no, I just need thin scribbles. So it's just a regular mechanical pencil and I'm going to do some scribbles just in the background to have some extra movement. And, um, I like the, because everything else felt blocky and all of that. So I wanted some like curvy lines and, and scatteredness. All right. And now I'm going to take this all the way across the rest of the card. And I already knew what I was going to use to finish this card up. So I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all that it's in my shopping excursion yesterday. I went to Joann's and because they always have like the newest Tim Holtz supplies and they happen to be on sale. I got y'all. I got a good deal. It was, I think, 30% off the Tim Holtz stuff. And then they have a coupon on their app for an additional 25% off anything that's regular or sale priced. Um, so yeah, y'all, I got a really good deal <laughs> yesterday. I was really happy about that. Um, and all their clearance stuff, the red sticker to clearance stuff was also 25% off. The coupon didn't apply to that, but mm, y'all, I got, I got some good deals at Joanne's yesterday. So anyway, I found these stickers I hadn't seen before. I haven't seen them in any of the reveals or anything like that, but they are the label stickers, um, thoughts. And I will put a link to them below if I can find them on Amazon. But they just kind of look like those, um, diner, you know, label maker raised black and white kind of uh, stickers. And so I knew I was going to use that. So I'm going to pull those out. And because what I needed in my life was more Tim Holtz stickers. Yeah, I just did. 
So I found one that says, do your best. And I thought, you know, sometimes we all just have to do our best. You know, if we're torn and broken, we just stitch ourselves back together and do the best that we can. And even when we bleed, just do your best. So I'm trying to find a place to put that sticker. And because of that little black piece of construction paper at the bottom, it felt very heavy there. And I didn't want uh, my eye drawn there without having something there. So yeah, so I stuck it there. I'm going to use that same pencil to kind of go around my word there and then frame up the card a little bit with just some stays on black ink which I also bought more of at Joanne's yesterday because I was, um, yeah, you can tell that that one's not quite juicy enough and I've been having trouble. So I bought some more. All right, y'all, that is my card. I am, I'm pretty tickled with it. Um, yeah. And the sentiment is sideways, but you know, I did my best. <laughs> So I hope you have a great day doing your best. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and I will see y'all hopefully tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.